what is e-fuel or synthetic fuels? I'm Phil Curry here with another entry into AutoVista 24's What Is Explainer series. And if you want to know what bi-directional charging, autonomous driving, a supply chain, or other automotive terms are, then check out the What Is playlist on our YouTube channel, or visit autovista24.com and search What Is. There's been a lot of talk in recent weeks about e-fuels, with the German, Italian, Bulgarian and Polish governments fighting for their recognition within the EU Parliament, and refusing to back new automotive legislation that will see the banning of new petrol and diesel passenger car sales from 2035. These countries argue that e-fuels are a viable alternative to traditional combustion engine fuels and will help manage CO2 emissions across Europe. But what are e-fuels and how could they help? E-fuel is simply a synthetic version of traditional fossil-based fuels. They do not contain any fossil-based elements and are instead created by blending hydrogen and captured carbon dioxide in a process that uses renewable energy. They can be produced in liquid or gas form and, in theory, could be used in existing vehicle engines without any modification. There is another benefit to e-fuel in that it utilizes the same logistical map as current fossil fuels. It could be run through existing fuel pumps, carried in existing fuel tankers, and therefore requires no expensive or carbon intensive changes to infrastructure or parts of the supply chain. Cars using e-fuels will still emit CO2, but as the German government argues, the amount of environmental impact should not be measured only at the tailpipe. The production process uses captured CO2 with no emissions being put out into the atmosphere. Instead, it is a cycle, with the CO2 emissions from the car effectively being captured and used in the fuel's creation. Therefore, e-fuels will play no part in reducing the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere, instead simply balancing it out. E-fuels are also not currently produced to scale, and some argue that the renewable power to produce them for all internal combustion engine cars would be unsustainable. However, if e-fuels were introduced, it would mean car makers could continue to build their existing models, which would mean less money spent on the conversion of production line and more funds available for development of other zero emission technologies, such as hydrogen fuel cells or solid state batteries. Inclusion in automotive regulations would also allow for the continued development of e-fuels. With their recognition in future fleet plans, e-fuels could benefit the entire automotive industry and the environment on a wider scale through both new and older vehicles for years to come. If you want to keep up to date with what's happening in the market as it develops rapidly, visit autovista24.com where you will find a number of articles and data analysis pieces covering the automotive sectors. While there, why not sign up to our free daily email to ensure you never miss out what is happening on the market. You can also find the AutoVista24 podcast on Apple, Google, Spotify or Amazon Music and keep up to date with our video content by subscribing to the AutoVista24 YouTube channel. If you have any other automotive terms you would like explained, drop us a line on Twitter or LinkedIn. Search for AutoVista24. Thanks for watching. Thank you.